Hello everyone, Tim here again from Tim'sComputerFix.com. I have in my possession a Zalman ZM-VE300 virtual drive. It's an external hard drive case. It's an enclosure. And this is going to be my unboxing slash review of this product. Now this is a step up from Zalman's previous series which was the VE200. And I think a couple of the main features that are better here in the VE300 would be the fact that it supports USB 3.0 speeds. It'll give you a maximum 5 gigabits per second speeds. Also the navigation menu on the VE300 here is uh, definitely much improved. It's much more intuitive, many more options. The VE300 comes in your choices of two colors, silver or black. Also packaged with the VE300 is a disk that contains software that you can install on, on your drive, on your external drive, that allows for automatic backup. So that's, I think that's a pretty nice feature. But I think the biggest feature about these Zalman external drives is the fact that they can be mounted as an external CD drive. And I'll be getting to that here in a minute. Here we have our USB 3.0 cable that comes packaged with the box. And we have a nice leather carrying case to protect our product, protect our Zalman from getting scratched. And as usual, we have the quick guide quick step-by-step -step instructions on how to set set this Zalman up. The VE300 supports any 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. The software that I mentioned allows the drive to, to support one touch backups which makes it very convenient and practical for any backup solution. Now I must say I found it best to take the 2.5 inch SATA drive that I was using and formatting it with NTFS before I inserted it into the product, into the Zalman. Uh, let's not forget too, uh, this has a protective film over the front cover of the LED display here. So it looks kind of scratched up here, but uh, don't let that fool you. Um, you just have to just peel off the protective cover that uh, that they put on there. And once that's kind of peeled off, you have a you're left with a nice a nice display, a nice finish there. We need to remove the display part of the unit in order to get our hard drive installed in here. So if you pry up on both ends of the display as such it'll just pop right off we can pull it right out of the case and uh, now this pretty much fits uh, like I say to any SATA hard drive so uh, we just get our hard drive we're going to be using and we'll just plug it right into the port the power and data ports on the on the hard drive itself Let's fit it right in, right in like so. Snaps right on. And then we can just slide everything right back in as it was. And it's just that easy. Now we do have to secure this in with two screws that go in on either side. The, the, screw, the screws are hidden underneath the, the rubber lining on both sides of the Zalman. So we're going to have to kind of peel that back a bit to get the two screws in. Now, I will say that there's something left to be desired for the screwdriver that they provide you with this product. I don't like it. So I'm just using my own magnetized uh, eyeglass screwdriver here. And you see how we just kind of peel back the rubber lining on the side. And we'll just put our screw in there and then we'll also do the same thing for the other side and once that's done our hard drive is securely installed in the unit and we are ready to move on to the other features of this product 
So basically the Zalman external drive mounts just like any other external hard drive via USB. So we'll just plug our Zalman in here. And the first thing we get here is our screen will light up, our LED screen will light up, and our computer will automatically install drivers and detect the drive itself. We have our autoplay dialog box that pops up, giving us the option to go into the folder. We're going to go about it through the My Computer option. Now, the reason why I'm going about it this way is because I want to demonstrate how the CD-ROM, virtual CD-ROM here, mounts. So we'll go to Start Computer, and you'll see here our mounted external drive. And we also have an extra CD-ROM drive down here, and that is our virtual drive. So to mount this, we're going to press the toggle switch inwards on the left side of the unit. And that will mount our virtual CD-ROM drive. We'll have an icon change on the computer here. And we'll also have an icon down here on the Zalman screen showing that the CD-ROM has mounted. Now this is what we're going to use to when we load ISOs, so we can actually boot from this CD-ROM. Now take note, when you first power on this Zalman, when you plug it into your computer, you will get this error. It says no underscore ISO folder. So what you need to do before we mount, we put any ISO on our drive, we have to create an underscore ISO folder onto the main part of the drive. So right here we'll demonstrate how to do that. Okay, again, we'll go into our mounted external drive here. Very simple and we will create a new folder and we will rename it underscore ISO and that is it. Once you do that we are now able to load ISOs and we drop them right into that folder and that, that will be what our virtual drive mounts from. So Let's, uh, let's, let's load up an ISO. I have here the new version of Puppy Linux, Slacko. So we'll just go back, go back into our, our external Zalman drive here, locate our ISO folder, and we'll just drag our Slacko ISO right into the underscore ISO folder. Now we're good to go to boot from the virtual CD-ROM drive into this ISO. Okay, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to go back into that virtual drive and uh, I'm going to remount our virtual CD-ROM. And I just want to uh, show you how the files were placed now into into the CD-ROM. So this is what it would look like as if you were to burn that to disk, this ISO. So now that looks properly done. So now we can boot from that virtual CD-ROM. Now we'll just go ahead and reboot the computer. Now I want to stress to be sure that we boot into the virtual CD-ROM drive, we have to be sure that the CD icon displays here by pushing in the toggle switch on the left side of the unit. This way when the computer boots it's, it picks it up as an external CD-ROM drive. Okay, as the computer boots and gives us our boot options, we should see our Zalman virtual CD-ROM drive. It is there along with the Zalman external hard drive. So from this point obviously all we need to do is select the Zalman virtual CD-ROM and that our Slacko is loaded, ready to go, selected. So we'll select that, the virtual CD-ROM drive, hit enter. And now we're booting straight into Puppy Linux. The load times are increased dramatically using this method with this VE300, especially if you're using USB 3.0, the load times are incredibly fast, much faster than using a CD drive, so it will save you time. This also works well 
if your older if an old computer doesn't support booting off of USB, it will boot off of a USB optical drive, which is the CD-ROM drive. Let's try another ISO. We're going to try Ultimate Boot CD. Let's drop another one in and I'll show you another nice feature of this VE300. So we'll go back into our virtual drive. There's our underscore ISO. And we're going to drag over our Ultimate Boot CD ISO here. Drop it in. Let it transfer over. And now let's uh, let's go back in and re reboot our computer. Okay, now that we have more than one ISO loaded, I want to show you this nifty feature. We can scroll up and down with our button on the left side, and we can scroll between the two ISOs. There's Slacko, and then we also have our Ultimate Boot CD. So we can choose between the two or however many ISOs you want to put to boot from. Really nice feature. So we'll pick our Ultimate Boot CD, our Ultimate Boot CD ISO, and we'll be sure our disk icon is on. And we're going to boot, reboot our computer, give us our boot menu, and there we are again with the Xiaomi external drive or the virtual CD-ROM drive. So we'll go ahead and, of course, pick the virtual drive, and we'll get it loaded. Really awesome. Okay, I'd like to talk about another feature of the VE300, which is the write protection feature. This is a little different than the VE200. If you hold down the toggle button as you plug this unit into a computer, it automatically is write protected. Now you can do this manually, protected and unprotected, through the options menu. So I'll show you here, if we just go into our settings, and uh, go down to the USB, the advanced setting, and go down to the write protection option there. You can unlock and lock write protection on this drive. And the unit will reboot, and now you see the unlock icon. So really, another really nice feature of this unit. Speaking of features, how about some menu navigations here? How about this? We can do a mode select. This will take us through dual mode, which is your hard drive and virtual drive, or just your hard drive, or just your virtual CD-ROM drive if you choose. Next feature we can have is in the settings. And in there, we have the LCD brightness. We can adjust to any brightness we like, uh, how bright the idle is, the brightness, um, standby time. Um, we can set it when the LED to shut off within 15 minutes of being on standby. Really cool. Got a low default setting. We'll back up here. Go to information. Now this is really a really nice feature here. In information, we can access our smart data. And inside smart data, we have our hard drive temp. Here we have 31 degrees Celsius. And we also have the hard drive health, which we hope is good is good. That is the smart data. Let's see what else we have here. Ah oh, yeah, information. In the information we also have the hard drive model, hard drive serial number, firmware version, the USB speed, uh, and the USB wattage actually, input voltage. We have safe removal option, which is really great. And uh, the advanced menus where, of course, we mount or we unlock or lock write protection. Lots of great features. Lots of great menu navigation features here. 
So that's my little review of the Zalman ZM VE300. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to my feed. I would appreciate it. I have many more computer repair, computer related videos in the future. You can visit my website at www.timscomputerfix.com or better yet, I have a new website launching www.timscomputerfix.net. Go check it out. It's my newly launched website. I'm very excited about it. So hey everyone, until next time, see you soon.